You know, one of the things we learn in the film, A Bright Future, West ISD Rises Up, is how the community benefited from donations of all kinds. There were more great stories of generosity than we could fit into the program. So we thought you'd enjoy hearing a few more. Stories of kindness, you can never have too many of those. Everybody uh, wanted to make sure that West was taken care of. It was a true team effort. Everybody was a true servant throughout the process. The very next day, calls, people showed up, organizations, companies, too many, too numerous to name for fear of leaving someone out, just started calling and showing up. There were computer companies, there were network companies, there were phone companies. You know, in relation to my job description, all of my areas, the inpouring of volunteers, I mean, this school that we're in was operational in four days. Conley had taken us in, and they were so gracious there. We were in the middle of reading The Great Gatsby in the springtime, and we didn't have any books, we didn't have anything, and they said, don't worry, we will get everything we can for you. And within the day, there were all these Great Gatsby books. They were all tattered, and they were in different versions, but that didn't matter. We got to finish reading the book together. They scrambled, and they found test materials and study guides and everything that we could possibly want. And we, it was probably one of the best units ever, just because it was so real. It was so real. We were together, and we'd, we'd survived. On that same Sunday afternoon, we had a, a meeting of all the counselors that were willing to come help us on that Monday morning because we knew that the kids were going to have a tough time. So we had a meeting at the Conley Junior High cafeteria, and over 200 people showed up to organize and help for that next Monday at school. And when Monday school day started, we had two counselors in every single classroom in the district, just in case our kids needed some support. And to me, that was phenomenal. We're trying to figure out if we're playing, and we're not gonna play, and another school's calling us, and you know, we call UIL and try to figure all it out. And of course, we get permission from UIL to not all be alike. But the local sporting goods store, B&B, somehow got us uniforms that matched. The school down the road, Lorena, gave us their, they got together with a company from Fort Worth and got us a uniform. So we actually had two sets of uniforms to play in, which is what we would normally have. And so we went and played, uh, we played Taylor. And uh, when we got there, it was another emotional because they had gift cards and they had all the stuff they had gathered. Just, they had a packet for every kid, like toothbrush, all, all these things that you would need on a daily basis. And uh, it was, prior to the game, it was very emotional. And we had uh, players that had lost uh, uncles, and, and we had a player that lost a grandmother in the explosion. And so it was very emotional for, for us during that period of time. We really depended on the kindness of others. We ha they were um, invaluable. We relied on them, and, and they came through.